April means another season for the Buffalo Bisons and delicious new food items for the fans. For General Manager Mike Wachkowski, it also means the 2017 season is finally here. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I, we've been down to spring training and that part of it's over, the planning part of of our staff and what they do to get ready for the season's over and now we're you know you kind of go public with your commitment of what we're going to provide or try to provide for our fans and we always uh, try to add on and try to take a look at what uh, fans react to from one year to the next we've had a commitment now for about a decade to try to bring as many local food products as we can into the ballpark i think it's one of the things that our community is known for is great local establishments and so we made a commitment to do that and we continued this year uh, we're happy to say we've added some Polish food uh, this year to the to the menu Ruz Pidagi is uh, coming in to provide uh, uh, their great uh, product a relatively new restaurant uh, Mike A is here from the sea bar uh, uh, he's going to be providing sushi for our suites and our and our party areas uh, we always look to our partners rich products to to help us with what's emerging around the the country or what works in other facilities and we've brought the rich products cheese curds here we've we've added uh, healthy options we're going to have another healthy card in the concourse so when you come here uh, you're going to be able to find something you like and, and hopefully something you love and uh, i think we were one of the pioneers when the, when the, when this park opened uh, we provided uh, you know char grilled hot dogs we provided a food court that had different options and you're right, it was uh, 30 or so years ago, you came to any sporting event, you got a hot dog and a, and a Coke, or you got a hot dog and a beer, and now people want to come early, they want to have dinner, they want to have dessert, come the seventh or eighth inning of the game, and, and so it's become like a giant restaurant. We know that that's a huge part of the experience of, of why people come to Bison's games. Great food is not the only attraction when attending a Bison's game. Brand new team apparel is available for sale as well. Yeah, and so much has uh, changed over the years as well with that. I mean, now minor league teams, we're partnering with the biggest names in apparel, whether it's Nike or, or Under Armour or Columbia Sportswear. Uh, this year, we're going to definitely have a slant towards 30-year merchandise. So merchandise that will celebrate our 30 years downtown will be available only this year. And we've combine that with a, a vintage logo. Uh, players on the field are going to wear uh, five or six times a year. They're going to wear the, the actual uniforms that we wore in 1988 when, when this ballpark opened. And uh, we partner again with New Era. We talk about local food. That's one of the great local companies that provides the, the best baseball caps in the world to, to give us all different kinds of hat designs, whether you're a youth, a, a male, female, or you love the actual cap that the team's uh, wear on the field. So I think uh, between the two gift shops we had, you'll be able to find something that you like. Of course, the Bisons have a competitive team on the field thanks to their affiliation with the Toronto Blue Jays. Really has. We're in year five of our of our agreement uh, of our of our partnership with them. We've seen a, a huge increase in Canadian fans that have come down to watch Bison games. We're proud of the fact that not only did they come that first year, but now they've they've returned and and they tell us that all the time we're going to tell our friends about this place because it is really a a Triple A baseball and a minor league baseball experience is quite different than a major going to a major league game. First of all, a lot more affordable to come to a minor league game. But I think when you come here, it's so different than Rogers Center. They play on turf, we play on grass, we're open air, they have a dome. You're closer to the action here. Uh, and, and I think they just love the experience, the entertainment that minor league baseball teams do that a lot of times you don't see at major league parks. The Jays do a great job. And, and what we wanted to happen in this partnership is that we get more Americans going up to Toronto for the games and more Canadians coming down here for the games. And I think that's working. 2017 marks the 30th season for the Bisons at now Coca-Cola Field, and that anniversary will be celebrated throughout the season. Well, we're gonna, uh, we've are gonna we designed our giveaway schedule to, to really incorporate the 30 years, uh, celebrating the, the three championship teams that have been here in the 30 years with banner giveaways. We're gonna do a replica of Coca-Cola Field. The last time we did it, uh, the stadium looked different, so we're gonna, we're gonna update that. Uh, with, through luck, we're going to be home almost the 30th of every month. So we've kind of tailored the, the promotions on the 30th of every month to coincide with that celebration. And August 30th, which will be the next to last game of the schedule, that'll be kind of the day that we're really going to celebrate. We plan on bringing some former players back in, and we're still finalizing what we're going to do. But that'll kind of be the big celebration, the culmination, so to speak, of uh, the 30th season. The big hero for the Bisons at that inaugural season opener at then Pilot Field was catcher Tom Prince, who had a solo homer, providing the only run in a 1-0 win over the Denver Zephyrs. 
Unfortunately, Prince will not be available to celebrate that moment 30 years later. Tom is going to be the bench coach for the Pirates this year, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to get him, but I did see him at the uh, winter meetings, reminded him that it's going to be 30 years, and oh, it's always amazing. I'm always amazed about athletes, especially baseball players. I said, do you remember the home run? Not only do you remember the home run, you remember the pitch before it, the pitch, who the pitcher was, where the ball was hit, and uh, I had a great, great visit with Tom, and I know that he looks back uh, very fondly at that game and, the, and all the time that he spent here. 2017 also marks the 31st year for Butchkowski as a member of the Bison's organization. It's been a great ride. Yeah, it really has. I, you know, I was talking to Bob and Mindy last week, and Bob asked a great question. I had to try to do a little research. Uh, who else has owned the same minor league ball club for 35 years? Now, his ownership goes back to 1983, at the rock pile when the Bisons were double A and checked with the minor league baseball offices. There's been some people that have owned different teams for 35 years, but nobody that we can find that has owned the same team for 35 years. And that's quite a testament. I mean, to be able to, to do it, what he's allowed us and what Bob and Mindy have challenged us to do, the resources that they've given us, both financially and, and through rich products, to keep this place a great place. You know, I tell people War Memorial Stadium was 50 years old when it closed. This one's 30 already, but I like to think that this one has got a potential to be around for 100 years because of the commitment not only from the, the city and, and publicly, but our, our private ownership. And coming up with one single highlight over that time is a tough task. Oh, it's, hard to, it's hard to narrow to one, but you know I think that the ones that I remember the most, the very first game, there's something about the first time you open a place like this, the attention that was looked, that we were getting at the time. We were trying to get a major league team and, and Good Morning Americas were here and all the national media were here and it turned out to be a one nothing win. But I think since then, the All-Star game that first year was huge. Winning the championship in 04 in this ballpark, the only time we've ever done it, was very special. And I think the All-Star game, uh, and the 25th year, now five years ago, and the, the home run derby that we had with uh, all the celebrities here and Val Pascucci, our guy winning it with the last swing, uh, those have all been the things that stick out in my mind.